Hey everyone, Dave Men's Laundromat Millionaire coming to you again from Cincinnati, Ohio with another update of our store. So I thought you would be excited to see this. Look along that back wall there and the drywall curtain, or I'm sorry, the dryer curtain wall. You can see above the dryer wall there, it's all drywalled. And across the back is all drywalled. Almost all the machines are installed. Um, we have the 80s that need to be installed. There's three of them there. Actually, there's four. One back behind. Two go on the front of that bulkhead, and then two will go over here. And then a couple more small machines to install. But all the washers are installed, and all the dryers are installed. And you'll see even this cavity up above. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. All the drywall is done for that, which is pretty cool because it gives it uh, a little bit of character, in my opinion. So that drywall is all done. And then we'll go over to the other side. You'll see up above there it's all drywall and that opening you see right there this is a cavity for the front awning and what we did is we framed that out to install a drop down staircase uh, so that we can get up in that cavity and work whether it's electric or what have you and then we have another one over on that side over there uh, but we're pretty happy with that how that turned out I think that's pretty cool and then I'll try to get a good shot back here but you can see this front wall is all finished and drywall. Now it's just a, it's just cut and hung. It's not. Uh, they have some tape done, uh, but not all of it. And then that's our retail counter and our door. And it's a little dark back here, but the back side of the wall is all drywalled and mudded. And then the front side of the office is all drywalled. And there's a window going in there. And then the side here. And we have a few uh, roof leaks right now. So they're actually holding off on installing the drywall on this back wall and inside until we get that roof fixed. We've got quite a bit of water in here because we got a whole bunch of we've got a whole bunch of snow and ice. A few days ago that's all melting so you can see some water in the building which we we were aware of so we'll get that taken care of finish that out and then you'll see across the back wall here all the drywalls done all the way up to the roof and then something me and Carla decided to do last minute which was a great idea so we decided to enclose the kids area so we decided to put a little half wall in three foot high to kind of define the kids zone so this area back here is i think it's roughly 20 by 14 which is pretty awesome uh, to have a kids area that big dedicated and then we got a four foot opening here so we will not put a door in we're not trying to entrap kids uh, just give them a defined space and we'll have room in here for some seating. We'll have our laundry cares, read, play, learn center on the wall and a kid's TV and some tables and books and uh, be a really cool area. Something we've played around with a little bit at our other stores, but never had that much room, which is pretty fun. And then we have a dedicated utility room here, which we've also never had before. And all that drywall's done and some of the taping. And then our restrooms are drywalled and taped. We've got our toilet and our sink. And then we've got our light switch and for our hand dryers. 
electric for the hand dryers. And then as you can see, we pulled some of the plastic off the dryers. So you can see how beautiful those Hipsch Chrome machines are. They just pop and really get that high end look. Another restroom. And then we have our utility sink for the customers. This will be a fully attended store. So we're able to put a utility sink in without, without having to worry about, you know, people taking showers in it or baths in it, things like that, which is fun. Um, and then we have a drinking fountain, which is required by code. And then this is our rear egress point, which is all drywalled into the back. And then a little bit more drywall to do here. And then that concrete slab will be torn out before, before it goes in. And then the back side here, we're going to leave totally open and exposed uh, because this is all heating and air, heated and air conditioned back here. And what this does is leaves all of our plumbing exposed. So anytime we need to work on anything, uh, short term and long term, all of our plumbing is exposed. So it's very easy to work on or find leaks, uh, which is nice. We got about a five foot aisle back here, which is pretty awesome too, into our utility area and our plumbing. And that's pretty amazing. All the new electric panels and circuits. And our water heaters will be going in soon, hopefully. And then one of the last things I want to show you here, since it's exposed, is how a drain trough works. And so our drain troughs are recessed in the floor as you've seen in previous videos and you'll see down through there how the drains come off the back of the machines and they 90 down into the top of the trough and then the bottom of the trough is sloped pitched so that it comes down through here and that's about as clean of an install as you will find folks the folks at hm company they know what they're doing. They've been doing this for 70 years. And here's another finished. A little dirty, a little dusty. And if you can't see it, that, that lint interceptor with the holes in it there, got a six inch drain. And then you got a lint interceptor that blocks all the debris and keeps that from going down the drain. And then you can see the installation all the way down through there. Look how clean that looks. And that, folks, is how you build a modernized laundromat in the 21st century. Preferably without leaks in your ceiling. <laughs> but anyway, you can also see the start of some of our functional lighting going in, which is nice to get that in. And then we'll have some different aesthetic lighting that'll go in at different seating units and things like that. But overall, we're really starting to come together. So I'm not sure why, but this machine over here goes on that back wall, that's one of our 30s. And if you haven't noticed before, oh, here's a front side shot of our drains and the installation. Got your plumbing up high, electric up high. It's a 36 inch bulkhead, so that gives our guys plenty of room to get back there and work whenever they need to. Which once again is a luxury, not everybody has that kind of room. But if you have it, it's nice to have. So 
So as you can see, it's really starting to come together and we're very excited to hopefully get this store open. This is being filmed in uh, early February of 2022 and we'll be hoping to be open uh, sometime in the middle of March. So anyway, that's an update for now. We'll probably bring you a couple more updates before we open and we will go from there. So we will see you all next time. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>